Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Br and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I won't lie, it's been so long that I kind of forgot what I was playing. So, so I am trying to beat this before the newest game comes out. So we're going to try to rush through as much of this as we can. Over here, Yagabra. Ursulana is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. Never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Well, that sounds like every other thing people play on the flute. Oh, Ursa Ring. That makes sense. Now show your medal to Ursa Luna. But remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Alright. Yeah, I assume we are fully rested. Strong style. Alright, so one more. Oh, I should have been using this. Oh, yes, no. It's gonna take me two turns either way. Oh, that's right, I forgot we can. Evolve some Pokemon. Ursaluna, my poor darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. Clear out any poison in any Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxicon. Bleh! So potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. He wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Clever's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. No strange, no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arizu. Now why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Can we summon him now? For something? Ursula opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. And an earth plate. Ursula is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Right, now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brr. Neat. Press the Y button to dig. When Ursula finds spots that makes him react, we might find. Them. All right. So, um, how do I? I'll take that while we're. Oh no. And here we drown. Damn it. Whoops. Alright, 
so I have Digimon that can evolve, right? Pokemon. Too much playing Digimon to now be playing Pokemon. All right, evolve. It can't evolve right now. All right, evolve. I wonder why he can't evolve right now. Oh, because he's out. Duh. So what is this? Star Raptor? Yeah. And now routes. Oops. Nice little Curlia. Ah, Curlia can evolve too. I wonder if it's evolving to a Gardevoir or another one. I hope Gardevoir. Uh, Alright, so they just got ideas for moves. They didn't actually learn any the moves. Oops. Now, Duat. Duat? It's just a different color. Oh, that's Where do we need, like, up top there? Really? On something good. Old verse nine. What the fuck is that? Part of a series of old poems. I guess read it now. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. To the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift from which I part takes a sliver of my heart. Neat. Alright, now to get back. If I come here, that should. Take the quick rest. Just to heal Pokemon. And now, do I need to talk to you? Oh, I guess I did since I evolved. Some. I'll return to the village.
There you are. Better hurry to the commander's office. Alright. Fast travel me. Oh, wait. They mean the upstairs commander. Here, bro. We have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's leader of the ridge, is in a frenzy, and Avrazu knowingly kept this from me. Yes, there are only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one our lady of the ridge. This isn't the time for cultured lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arizu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilife Village. First I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If a Rizu of the Diamond Clan were somehow involved in that situation, the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We'll be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. Right, of course. After all the work you've put into us to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting. I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Perhaps you have some idea how we might address the situation. I mean, I could call Ursaluna. Does that help? Ursaluna? So he and Warden Kalaba found you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arizu wherever she's gone. If you're sure enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. Head to Lilligant's seat, then Brava Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, Yerba. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Haisu. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Follow the blue signals to sniff out Arizu in the Crimson Mirelands. Alright, let's go. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Ben's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Kalaba riding around on that Ursaluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his, his scent of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Ursaluna now knows Arizu's scent, follow the blue signals. Um, did I come to the wrong Oh wait, there's a blue. You know the grit dust and grit gravel that wild Pokemon sometimes drop? You use those to train up your Pokemon. Okay, cool. Is that her? Okay. 
could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that mass outbreak was a different color from the others. Well. Oh, yeah, bruh. How did it all go with Ursaluna? I calmed him down. Wow, you really are strong. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? Or Ursaluna, sure is something. You know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinho, but still. Wow. My luck's ran out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ha! Huh. There you are, Arzu, right? Eek! M Mistress Kalaba, uh, I did- I didn't- I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursuling was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. That's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. Must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna, and also learn about crafting. While I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, and he told me about the bomb she used to quell Clever, so I thought I'd make some for Lily Gant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well then, we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant. What were you thinking doing all this by yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinho with my own eyes. I fail to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Yagura. I'll take the bombs that Arizu made and meet you at Brave Arena. Don't you worry, Arizu. Yagura will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to Brava Arena, Yagura. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arizu will be taken care of. My dear Byberol and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Alright. I don't think it's this way. Oh, God, I wish I knew how to get up there. We can't go in water.
I did not expect to see an unknown there. Alright, so I think I have to go the long way around. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Of course. That's... Lady Lilligant's a sight to see. Even in her frenzy, behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, it took us one of my poultices to get our leg all patched up. Calabar. I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much. Especially as we're from different clans. Arizu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew. Caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the lady of the ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer. Always in motion, always darting around. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out one of your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Alright, I'm thinking Lilligant's one of those bug Pokemon. Why did ZL hold the focus and why did Dodge? Alright. Well, I didn't know they were going to do a big boom attack. is that? Almost dead. Two more. Ah, shoot. Did I do it? Okay. Good. Really couldn't tell who won that. talking about
you receive the meadow plate from Lily again. I thought I was supposed to battle. Did I miss that? Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lily again, you saved Arizu as well. I appreciate it. First Issa Luna and now Lily again? You're amazing. You know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lily Gant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lily? Arisu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. Young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Salesian runes? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sino itself. Of course, I completely forgot about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arizu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon. After all. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calibur wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to, to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. From now on, do it without keeping things from me, agree? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Ligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrland safe, Arisu. Be sure to inform Irita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, Yerber. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me. Now it's about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adamen, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sino. The ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in. Change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Herber. I think I'll stay and talk to Lily Gant for a while. What happened, Lily Gant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lily! Lily! Alright, so another job well done. You're a real he wonder. I saw light disappearing into space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Heisu. I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Alright, you 
here now. Oh yeah, I also remembered Ponyta can evolve, so let's do it. Because I, I think I still have to rest to get my team healed. I think, like. Okay, so I need to make potions to make super potions. So if I use a vivid choke, I can make my super potions. Better. Um, actually, five more. Ten. Oh, wait. It takes two potions to make a super potion. Right? No. Five of them, eight of them, two of them, okay, whatever. Yep. <laughs> All right, don't know what, I just don't know what I've completed, but This you quote Lady Lilligant. Smashing, let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. There's Benny. Found her by the center of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you own Ka Kamado or Report? Your meal can wait. Or is this just a side mission? Hey, you are. You're the one, right? The one they've been talking about? The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands? My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps You see, and she went to the Mirelands too. But she never made it back. You managed to track down that Arizu woman in those boggy Mirelands, right? So could you find my sister Wanda too? What's she smell like? <laughs> what? Oh, you, you, you can search by her scent? Well, maybe the kerchief she usually carries could be of some use why do you have the kerchief she usually carries counting on you please find Wanda wherever she's ended up alright whatever I'll get to it when I get to it Probably not even missing. So you successfully calmed Lily Cants. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves free from war and strife a stranger falls into our world from a rift in space and time then frenzies are induced by strange lightning which likewise falls from that very same rift a 
you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. There you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. I don't disagree, and I keep doing the same thing day after day really getting us anywhere of our research or what carving out a life here oh well here's a flashy new recipe to try your it's for an item that should help scatter those gloomy thoughts scatter bangs come now don't worry yourself so my girl As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart, as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be Lily against Warden and all. I'll be burning that candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Yabra. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Uh, Mr. Kamado, sir, er, so about the whole Ursaluna situation? If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, welcome, Arizu. And you, Yaira, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Oh no, it's our beach episode. These people have just arrived here in Haisu. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore in Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. You've heard that Haisu region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their serious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. The reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Yerba here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined effort of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village thrive here in the Haisu region. I look forward to doing our part, Commander.
The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Here, bro. You truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Yes. Hmm. Pokemon have gone, done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Be warned, as the leader of the galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Commander, Irida from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Yairbra, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Man, nice. I was gonna say, man. Now I'm stuck all the way out here, but that was helpful. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be sure to come back next time where we'll continue on with Pokemon Legends Arceus. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.